Hi guys, so welcome to my fourth vlog. Uh, today, we are with one of the best actors in the Philippines. And he's one of, one of um, sobrang I, idol. <laughs> and re he's really a genuine person. Like really, like really. So please welcome Mr. Art Acuna. It's good to be here. Thank you. And for that, to get another round of drinks. <laughs> So, Tito Art, how was um, life after the the broken marriage taping in Baguio? Well, it's uh, mostly about catching up with chores, mm -hmm. you know, and then looking into the next ones that are coming, you know, because there's always something in the air that you have to look at. Yeah, but mostly it's about really, I take care of a lot of people, especially uh, they're kind of elderly, so mm. they don't go out and do all the chores for them. Mm. You know, so I go to the Palenque a lot, the supermarket, Mercury Drug. Yeah. I do all of that several times a week, you know, almost every day I'm out already. So you did catch up to those things after? Correct, that, after. correct. And put in some work too for future projects. Mm. Yeah. Uh, while in lock-in sa Baguio to Art, yeah. of course, um, we're like uh, in a bubble. Yeah. Uh, are there ba mga times na parang nakapag-isip ka about life? Like deep thoughts while in Baguio? Something like that. Uh, well, <laughs> that's really gonna happen. <laughs> yeah. Because you're always in the room, right? Yes. You can only study your script so much. You can only exercise so much. You can only clean the room so yeah. much. I did everything. You know, Changed just, the... Just to another time. And of course, you're going to get introspective mm. about stuff. Which is not a bad thing. Because yeah. the world has changed. Mm. You know what I mean? It's There's uh, there's sickness and Everywhere. other stuff. So that everything is shaken up into a different... Yeah. The ball field is different. Yeah. The game's changed a little bit. So you have to adjust to that. Okay, so while in Lakan Tito Art, aside from work, of course, it has yeah. somehow an effect on your personal life, of, of course, on all actors, right? Oh, yes. Well, thinking. Oh, yeah. absolutely. If you're gonna choose between lock in taping or like the lock in before, like mm. the normal, the normal? Yeah, what would you choose? Preferably mm. for the product that you're putting out, I would prefer lock in taping because mm. your focus doesn't shift to other things. You don't shoot and then go home. Yes, and yes. And then you do that and then you gotta get back into the energy of the shoot and the story and your character. And I'm used to just flitting in and out. But if you're always there, it never leaves you. Oh. You know what I mean? You can always jump in in a second. You know, so the energy is maintained. Yes. So you will prefer lock-in taping rather than before like, yes, shoot? Yes, yes. Yeah, okay. I've actually done that now. Lock-in? Even when in I was working in the States, uh -huh. I would do a lot of regional theater. And that's pretty much a lock-in taping mm. because they take you from New York and then you're going to be in Denver, Colorado for three to four months during the play. They give you an apartment, a car. You're there so for you're just um, shoot. You can't leave. You're under contract to stay there until the end of the show. And it was somehow a help in immersing, of yeah, course, really. That's it. That's the word. Immersing. Yeah, the immersion. How's the experience of being casted in an international film? I have to clarify something. I okay. don't know why that Born Legacy thing keeps happening. I just did stunt driving there. Yeah. I, I didn't play really any... I don't know why it keeps showing up in the newspapers and stuff. That's because it's a big thing, I, I yes, suppose. Yes, in the Philippines. Really, I didn't do much acting there. I was in the car and I was making it uh, do stuff. That's it. Tito Art, di ba may mga acting na all lines, no emotion, something like that. Yeah, well, thanks. But then, yeah, Tito Art, yeah. you like actions and then um, the eyes. You are really on that present moment and on that character. Yeah. Well, yeah that's maybe our, that's why... Well, that's our job. You know, yeah. you don't have to have lines to convey yeah. something. It'll okay. show. Especially on film. Everything shows. The twitch yes. of the eye will show. The, <laughs> the throbbing of the, uh, the tonsils. It, it, show, it says something. Yes. You know, the audience doesn't have to guess what it is exactly. But as long as something's going on, they're going to be curious and they're going to keep watching you. Mm -hmm. As long as you're truthful on the movie, yeah, right? Yeah. Absolutely. 
Aside from your international films, Tito Art, yeah. can you share with us your experiences and challenges that you face in portraying Manuel Bernal in Goya and General Luna? That was a very interesting role for me. Yeah. You know, every role for me always has a different set of challenges. Mm. Right? It's a different objective. It's a different talent for other things besides the acting. Like, I learned, it was fun. I learned how to really ride a horse well. Mm. You know, because I've never because really ridden a horse, you know, but they put us through training and, and I found that I enjoyed it more <laughs> than riding a motorcycle. Oh. I think horses are better, man. It's alive. And then when it's galloping, blah, 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 you know, that I'll never forget. So that was a good thing from the Monday Bernal thing. Mm. The script is good, too. You know, you, you, um, it's wonderful to say well-written, well-thought-out lines that have a lot of heart in it. Yeah. You and know? then um, you're It's so almost like you don't have to act it. As long as you mean it, you know what you're saying. Especially if you're the scene na yung um yung duguan ka na. Oh, yeah. Yes, grab it, Tito Art. Yeah. I'm having goosebumps yeah. right now. I'm having a fangirl moment right now. <laughs> I didn't you. even know I was cast for that. Uh, I didn't know I was going to be in Goya. Uh, I was not told after I did uh, General Luna that I was going to be in Goya. It was only later on. I was like, huh? ah, I'm in Goya. Ah, wow, this is a torture scene. Wow, this is which they never got to see. I didn't know. I didn't know. But it was really a uh, remarkable scene to the arts Thank you. How do they differ the Manuel Bernal in Goyo and in General Luna? The Manuel uh, Bernal in, in General, General Luna, Luna was, there was more optimism. Mm. You know? Mm. Especially when General Luna was still alive. Yeah. You know? that's, that's his hero. Yeah. He's alive, he'll protect him the best way he can. And when that caved in and the whole movement was starting to die. We were all being caught and killed one by one. Then you become like, pessimistic. Yeah. You don't stop fighting. But then, so even Manuel Bernal in you know, being tortured in detention, he knew he was going to die somehow. Yeah. As to how, he's not sure. But his fight never left him. At least he got to give one last word Gravity. to uh, no. To, As in, yeah, to say what he wanted to say one last time. Yeah, it was you know, really. So, yeah, no, that's a, that's the only difference. Otherwise, you actually just keep playing what your goals are. Mm. And it's going to be alright. I read one of the articles that you had before in an interview, and then you said you told them. Uh, Every character that you're playing is different from you. Like, a breed, a new breed, every time. Like, iba-iba, of course. Um, iba-iba yung characters, iba-iba yung uh, objectives. I'm going to modify that a bit. Okay. You know, in every character you play, you have to see the similarities between who you are and what's on the piece of paper. There's no character right now. Yeah. It's just a piece of paper. But there will be similarities. Always. And you, as a person, you're the best person you know. Mm. You don't know Carmen better than you. Mm. You don't know him <laughs> better than you. Who else are you going to use but you? Yeah. Okay. Right? So you have to find yes. out where the similarities are. And then, here's the trick. What is this character and paper going after? Mm. Let's say it's to start a worldwide revolution. Yeah. You Im immerse Mers. yourself with that objective, and that's you and actually Carl. now going for that. Mm, that's why it's not it's never the same, always. Like, Correct. Mm -hmm. I mean, the names could change, but that's going to be Anita playing a policewoman. Yeah, yeah. That's going to be Anita playing a doctor. You have to put your own personal stamp on it because each of us is unique. There's things that you'll do that Meryl Streep will not be able to yeah. do. You know, because she's unique, so are you. Mm. That's See? nice. And those big time actors, even the big time actors here, they trust themselves so much that they can use themselves. It's honest. Honesty. You know, yeah. the audience is not going, wow, such a good actor, such a good actress. No, you don't want them to see you acting. You want them to say, well, wow. I wonder if you're, they're like that in real life. I bet you that guy's that cruel in real life. Actually, people are. Isn't that better? That's, yes. Isn't the magic 
more the illusion. Because you are that fun. character. No, you are not yeah. playing the make, character. Make them wonder. You know? It's nice. It's nice. Yeah. It's a nice. Make them. Make them wonder. Oh, I'm learning a lot. Grateful always when I'm all um, when I had always a chance to talk with other actors, especially you, Tito Art. I've learned a lot since uh, the AP. Yeah. Because I talk a lot. That Anita Lopez was fantastic. That Anita Lopez was fantastic. No, she was very... Oh, no, it's all right to talk about you. I'll give you... <laughs> you know, my honest assessment is... Yes, of course, I'm a teacher. You're, when you said your lines, they don't sound like lines. Mm. That's already uh, an indication that you are a good actor. Ah, Tito. You know, our what we're saying here now, this is all spontaneous. Yes, right? yes. It doesn't sound like lines. Yes, yes. No, it's not. When you make it sound like speech, it's that not. means not only do you know the lines and you've memorized it, you made it sound natural. Mm. Like you're owning your lines. Correct. You're not. You're not thinking about punctuation Enough. marks or anything. No, yeah. it's just coming out. All those are emotional punctuation marks. Mm. You know what do you want to say? You say it without thinking about periods, exclamation points, question marks, nothing. You just say it according to the energy that you want to yes. say. Yes. Yes. You know, because that's my main beef with a lot of actors. When I watch them, sometimes it's like. She's saying a line. It's and not. now the other one is saying a line. And now the other one picked up the cue and saying another line. I don't think they're talking to each other. Yeah, actually, they are just thinking. You really talk to people. Mm, that's very that good. Are... And your stillness, that's another one. That's another one I loved about what you did. Now because she's very still. That's very important for the camera. Mm. You can't be fidgety, you know, or, or twitching. No, be still. And just say it, yeah. you know, say it. And say it. it. Yeah, and then um, don't think about the lines, just right. own it. So whatever you learned in the last five years, and you learned it very well. No, oh, I think. And you know, the education never stops. Yes, that, yes. With every project, I'm learning something new. But I, now you know, there is no end in Ending, sight. Yeah. So it's really the journey. But every time, of course, you are really a great actor. But then every time, of course, that you got a project. Uh, you learn something new always, right? So yeah. how how can you do that? Like, you know, the technique, something like that. But then you need to dig it, dig it more into acting. Aside from the character, presence of mind during the shoot. If, for example, you were looking at the scene and you thought it was going to be in a close-up, but now they want it wide. You have to enlarge your actions a little bit. Mm -hmm. Because the wide shot is going to catch things that your body is doing that the close-up won't. Mm -hmm. So that's a chance for you to convey that. Mm -hmm. You know, it could be just you're just standing angry and you're, you know, yeah. maybe you're fist pumping here. Yes. That says a story. Yes. That tells a story right there. But you can't do that in a close-up. Oh, close so you, you always have to constantly mm -hmm. adjust because that medium catches things differently. Actually, these are... Broken marriage. So, how can you describe Mr. Fred Lucero as a person? Okay, Mr. And Fred Lucero. Yeah, who is Fred Lucero? He's uh, he's definitely a type A personality. Mm -hmm. He goes after what he wants. He loves his family. Um, he's not perfect, but he tries to be. Nice. And how is he as a father to Alexis Lucero? No, oh, he loves her. Uh, Alexis Lucero is the apple of his eye. Mm. And but he's also grooming her to be the next chairman of the board. Yes. <laughs> you know, so you know he doesn't have a son, right? He's treating Lex like a son and daughter in one. Mm. Paano? What if um pagganun ang anak mo in real life? Wow, it would. Uh, I think the first emotion is disappointment, yeah. which goes to anger. Yes. But I, I think every every father should try to understand to see how it got there. So, um, what are the challenges that you face as Fred Lucero Tito Art? 
uh, without giving away the story, because it's only been showing for Yes, of course, Tito Arlo. How do I get my daughter out of this jam, you know? Mm. How do I wake her up? But there's other twists, you know, so... Yeah, let's wait. So, yeah. yeah. Okay. You gotta see her in it. She's coming. <laughs> what is your opinion in the rendition of the Broken Marriage Long, Tito Arlo? And the Filipino version. Yeah, I, I never watched them. But uh, I think this this one is very Filipino in a lot of ways. Yeah. And Tito Art for me, um, I watched the Korean version and yeah. I like this more, way better. Ah, uh, good. Yeah. Yeah, all right. Yes. Is it because of the culture? Aside, actually, Tito Art, aside from the culture, um, yeah. aside from the story, yeah. it, um, the Korean version is heavy, but this is really ibang level ng heavy. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, <laughs> we are only in the pilot uh, episodes, right? But then yeah. um, I'm really into the story already. That Galing. that heavy, Galing. that heavy Tito Art. I'm glad to hear that. Yes, it's Great. nice. It's really nice. I have some random question about life in general, Tito Art. Random if, life question. Yeah, if you could go back in time and talk to your 18 years old self um what 18 year old self what advice would you give him don't move too fast mm. yeah think about the next step before you jump yeah. That's nice. if you could um put something in a billboard maybe around ads or something like that what would you put i'll put it in neon and I wanted to just say two words. Learn empathy. That's what I would put. Thank you so much, Tito Art. Oh, Thank you so my much. My pleasure, Anita. Thank you so much. Um, Catch her in the broken mirror. Yeah. So that's it for today's vlog, guys. I hope that you will support the Broken Marriage Vow and watch out for my upcoming vlogs. So guys, get away with A. I'm Anita. So always remember, be you, do you, for you.